What's good y'all? It's your favorite Empress. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm LaDanya and over here they call me Empress Moxie. Today's video is in the segment of my channel called Pum Pum Talks. In Pum Pum Talks, we're all about the elevation of women through self-care in the form of chick chats and overall advocating creativity, which is part of our bigger purpose as women. Today we're going to be talking about how to accept ourselves while simultaneously continuing to evolve. This is a super important subject, especially right now in my 20s. It's important that we accept ourselves as young girls and women overall because if we see a vision and a goal for what we want to become, we have to first accept what we are, where we are. Let's talk about it. This specific topic came about because of my own experience with this after graduating i had a journey where i had to decide to rest and really just close a chapter and accept what i had just finished so that i can then step into this chapter which is the chapter where i'm a big girl right the chapter where i have my big girl job i save my money pay off my debt once I finish all these blocks in the way after graduating, then I can step over to becoming a homeowner, finding the love of my life. <laughs> that was um, still on the list, but <laughs> we're going to take our time. However, getting to the point of evolving and reaching goals like these is going to take self-acceptance and self-awareness so that is why i thought this would be a good topic to discuss with y'all and while i'm discussing i'll be refreshing these braids i've actually had them for three weeks now i got them in ghana where you are right now matters to where you're going and it matters to how you're going to get there and you don't deserve to be miserable in the present when you're heading towards your goal you should not make it push you to not accept yourself you shouldn't make it push you outside of self-love you, you shouldn't make it push you outside of realizing that the world is already doing that job for you there are already so many people in the world or in your life that already don't like you. Why are you doing free labor and helping them do that? That's already their job. Your job should be watching this video and taking notes so you learn how to accept yourself and continue evolving so you can meet your goals. Okay? So number one for accepting yourself is going to be letting go of the need to know everything and having everything right now a lot of us chase knowledge we shouldn't have the mindset of just being here to accumulate instead of trying to know everything analyze the information that you do have and use your intuition this means you don't need to know your future and what exactly is going to happen the more you obsess over it the less time you spend in the present taking care of yourself, and actually going towards that future that you want. Let that go. It's okay to not know on this journey. All you have to do is ask questions. Sometimes we have so much knowledge, we don't even know what to do with it. Sometimes that makes you even more hesitant because the more you know, sometimes the less you want to do with it. You know how they say ignorance is a bliss? It really is. Some people because they don't know things, are able to take initiative. And that's what you need. Only ask questions when necessary, but don't panic and worry about all the details. Accept where you are, accept where you're starting from with what you know and use it alongside your intuition. Alongside letting go of the need to know and have everything right now, you also need to let go of the thoughts and stories that you've created about yourself and who you are over the years. I know we've had experiences, we've had people come into our lives that feed us stories, that tell us things about ourselves, and we believe it. We consume it and we keep those stories, and those stories keep us down. 
those stories don't allow us to accept ourselves because those stories are negative but we do have a choice of letting them go and here's how ask yourself this what are these stories and thoughts that i have about myself costing me and then ask yourself what's gonna happen if i let go of these stories and things if you let go of that story or that negative thought that you have of yourself that's holding you back that's not allowing you to accept yourself what's gonna happen are the people who gave you those negative thoughts about yourself gonna come and beat your ass until you re-accept it no they're not and if that's the case fight to get out of that situation first but if that's not the case why are you holding on to it so long it's time for you to let go of that story it's time for you to recreate the narrative and it won't be easy to let go of these judgments stories and negative thoughts about yourself but what's going to be important to it is letting go of the past and focusing only on the present by resisting these thoughts and stories every time they come up pretend it's like a screen and observe them don't consume them don't let it stop you in the moment that you're in like for example if there's a thing where you're like i'm skinny i've been skinny all my life i just started to gain weight imagine i had an issue in my life where people used to call me too thick and as soon as i'm you know i'm having a body dysmorphia morphia moment and i'm thinking oh i would never look good in that because i'm skinny you see how that thought made me down instead of consuming the thought and keeping it in my body for it to uh, push my energy down i would just look at the thought like this and try the dress on anyways because that thought only lasted a few seconds it's what you do with those few seconds when the thought comes up that matters and you resist these things it's literally like fighting yourself when you're in this journey of accepting yourself it's like fighting the patterns fighting the thoughts fighting the stories because that's all they are they're made up it's not real the mind is a super powerful place but you don't want it to become a battlefield and that's why you're going to resist these negative thoughts you're going to let go of these conclusions because they don't make sense they're not true your mind is one place that you should be comfortable in in this world because it's a part of you why would you be uncomfortable in yourself think about that i'm gonna go back to what i just asked you what are these thoughts and stories costing you what are you missing in life as a result of having them stick around having them put you down and then what would happen if you let them go you would be free you would accept yourself and you would be able to focus and be present so that you can work on the things that mattered to your elevation you would work on the things that mattered to your evolution you evolving that is the goal here okay that's the goal here and sometimes it's it can be like let's also talk about overthinking you can battle overthinking by being more objective and seeing things as they are when things aren't the way that we think they should be we judge ourselves until we feel down like i was just saying we taunt ourselves with these thoughts and allow them to keep us down but what happens if you accept the fact that nothing is in your control what if you accepted that what would happen then you'd be more flexible You'd be able to accept where you are i'm gonna give y'all an activity to do this is from a book i read last year called the power of letting go and in the book they have this chapter called letting go of shoulds so the activity in the book is called shake off your shoulds and it's to sit in a quiet place and make a list of all the things you feel you should be doing or having at this point in your life here are some ideas to get started i should have done that i should have a degree 
I should have a mansion. I should have a luxury car. I should be married. I should be X times lighter. And then examine each of your shoulds carefully. Where did they come from? Did someone say something which is stuck in your mind? Did you pick up from your friends or did it come from someone in authority? If you examine your shoulds carefully, they'll start to lose their power over you. Stand up and close your eyes and shake your body, particularly your hands and your feet. Shake off all of your shoulds. Now bring your attention back to the present right now. Notice how you feel. It can take a while to let go of your shoulds, but keep shaking them off. And I really like that activity because I did it a bunch last year. I had some things after graduating that I was like, I should be, I should be working at this place by now. I should have, I should. By the time I did that activity, I noticed how ridiculous some of those shoulds were because they didn't apply to me. It was because of social media. It was because of what I saw, what I heard, what I was told. It was not what I wanted. Think again about what you think you should have right now. Think again about what you want to have, what you're rushing yourself on. Think again. So now that you've accepted yourself, or at least learned how to with the steps and activity that I provided, now we're on to continuing the evolving process. The process where we're elevating, getting closer to the version of ourself we want to get in closer to our successes. Once you've evolved, something that I highly recommend is leaving your bubble. Human beings are prone to having confirmation biases. You're sticking around people with the same ideas, the same thoughts, the same opinions, the same beliefs because of those confirmation biases you stay in your comfort zone for a long time but once you get to the point of evolving you need to step out of your bubble yes you accept yourself yes you accept who you are but you should also be exposed to new ideas new environments new people whenever you leave your bubble you're able to see what others outside of your circle are thinking you're able to see what they're doing and it might encourage you, it might inspire you, it might teach you something that people within your bubble cannot. And you might be asking, how do I step outside my bubble? A lot of times we're on social media, we have an algorithm that caters to what we like most, what we're looking at. So that's even a bubble. When you go outside and you meet somebody who has a different opinion than you do, all you need to do is ask them a question. Ask them lots of questions. Not because you want to adapt the perspective, but because you want to understand. Even in your community, you can go out of your bubble by going maybe 25 minutes from your area of town. Watch people, see what they talk about, see what they're doing, see the activities that they're interested in, and take in that knowledge. And talk to those people as well. Whenever you step outside of your bubble, you're going to see a bigger picture. And also, you're going to see new opportunities come about. A way that I step out of my bubble is traveling. I travel and I talk to strangers on the plane. I talk to strangers at the airport. I talk to everybody. And I'm going to ask you a question before we're done talking. Because I want to know everything you know or something you know because it's going to give me ideas it's going to give me opportunities even that's how you step out of your bubble that's how you evolve this next tip and insight is super important to the whole video of course it's important to do this when you're learning to accept yourself and it's important to do this when you're going towards the new version of yourself the new goals that you want to meet, and whatever opportunities you hope to find. Don't cling to timelines or plans that you have for your future, for yourself and who you're becoming. We have to be more flexible and less anxious about the future. 
Because even if we have the most meticulous plan, even if we pray to God or whomever you pray to, right? Even if we pray to God, even if we plan, even if we do the work, it might not happen how you expect, when you expect it to. Let go of the timeline. Don't let go of the plan. Just let go of the timeline. Let go of how it's going to play out. You definitely want to keep an open mind about your plans. That's all I'm saying. Speaking specifically about plans in our career, when you have plans for your career, sometimes they can put you in a box. It can be more limiting. And the more flexibility you give yourself for your career and your ideas, the more ideas to come out, the more you can explore your talents as well as discover your talents as well as people discovering you because you're being flexible and open-minded take in a minute i'm just using the mousse and redoing all of the curls in them but it's taking me a little bit where you're not clinging to a timeline it's going to allow you to be present and take everything moment by moment and whenever the time comes because the time will come. You take action when it's appropriate. That's all you need to do. And you can also call this letting go of expectations. It's going to help you. It's going to free you. Expectations make you miserable. So let go of them. Whenever you're reaching for your goals. And whatever journey that you're in. I want to share another activity with y'all. From the same book. The Power of Letting Go. You can literally say a good chunk of the lessons and points that I'm sharing in this video came from this book. This is my second time reading this book. I read it last year and applied the activities and I'm reading it again now because there is something that I wanted to remember. I want to share this activity on how to let go of expectations. This can be towards yourself and towards others. So this activity says... Take a blank sheet of paper and make a list of everything you expect to happen in your life. Now turn over the page and write down how you expect people to behave. You can write down general standards of behavior and you can also assign specific expectations to each person. And now you're going to notice that this exercise is absurd because it is. On the one hand, there is reality, which is changing and evolving all the time. On the other hand, there is this shopping list of expectations, which your mind has drawn up and is now trying to impose on the world. They may be legitimate expectations backed up by law or social convention, but they're still just thought. The mind is clashing with reality. Guess which side is going to win? You can tell people what you want them to do, and they might agree to do it. If they don't do it, you can take the appropriate action. At the same time, I recommend you let go of your expectations. You're the only one who's going to suffer if you cling to them. Try this instead. Continue with your work and relationships in the normal way. Tell people what you want them to do. Sign contracts with them if appropriate. Tell them what you're going to do and then do it. But drop your expectations. Be present. Observe everything that happens moment by moment. Take action whenever it feels appropriate. How do you feel? Do you notice any difference in the way life unfolds? It applies to this whole video. Letting go. Of expectation can assist you when you are learning to accept yourself because you will stop having certain absurd expectations where you're not considering your circumstances you're not considering the fact that you're facing certain adversity and you have this sort of thing going on in your life you're not considering your environment you're not being considerate basically okay that's going to help you in that journey. And then another thing that's going to help you when you're evolving 
and getting closer to your goals and aligning is going to be letting go of expectations of others in the outside world when you're supposed to be rewarded, when your goals are coming towards you, when your successes are on the way. Let go of the expectation of how it's going to happen. Let go of the expectation of when it's going to happen and just know that it's going to happen. Be grateful. Practice gratitude. Trying to do my edges. Am I doing this right? Can you believe I have locks underneath these braids? Comment below if you believe me. If you don't believe me, you should. Because <laughs> I do. These edges are not edging right now. What the freak? What the freak? Okay. All right, y'all. So I've finished refreshing. <laughs> that was it for this topic. I feel like I don't link my Instagram enough, so I'm gonna start plugging that. Be sure to follow me on Instagram at it's your favorite Empress. I share on my story over there. And you can get a little closer to me, know what I'm doing in my day to day, and just vibe with me because I've been sharing lots of content this Women's History Month, and I want y'all to see. Go over there, like a pic, leave a comment, and I'll be happy to respond. Duh. But that is all for today's video. I will see y'all in another one. Bye.